Good morning. Today we're at the Winter Arts and Crafts Show in Venice, Florida. You will meet some of the exhibitors, and if you like what they have to sell, their contact information is there, and you can get a hold of them. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. We're speaking now with R.J. Coons, and he has a book out entitled Loud Music. He's going to tell us a little bit about that. It's a book that takes place in the Venice, Sarasota area. The main character is Blaine Sterling. She's a park ranger at Osprey State Park. And it's a mystery adventure book uh, that has a lot of twists and turns. And, of course, it has a happy ending. What more could we ask for, right? Uh, this is your first book, right? Yes, this is my first book. And the ending is such that there is a ceremony at the park and an uninvited guest shows up. And it adds it's a, a question to the next book. It's a cliffhanger. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Um, would you like to give us some contact information in case somebody would like to get a book or reach you? Yes, I have a, a website, which is uh, rjcoons.com, and my email address is rjcoons204 at, at gmail.com. Yes, rjcoons204 at gmail.com. Thank you, RJ. Well, thank you. Okay, now we're going to talk to Photo Don. He is a man who does a number of things. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, basic, basically, what I do is I, I've been going around uh, the state of Florida for the last four years shooting pictures. And then what I do is um, I've been taking those pictures and I've been making my own handmade frames. I paint them with acrylic enamel, uh, use found objects, basically using whatever tools are at my disposal, and I frame them up that way. And I've been selling with that. Okay. So now this information is probably on the web. Would you like to share your website? Yeah, it's uh, www.photodono.com. That's spelled with an F. Uh, that's F-O-T-O. D-O-N-O at, you know, dot com. Yes. Okay. Um, anything else you want to share? Uh, if you can stop by the website just to say hi, leave a comment or two, let me know if you like or dislike anything, good comments, bad comments, you know, I'm kind of a press junkie, so anything you guys want to say, that's fine with me. If it's, if it's really that inappropriate, I'll delete it. <laughs> oh, very good. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate this. Not a problem. Thank you. We're talking to Robin Foch now, and she has very unique item here. Um, I'll let her tell you about it. Okay. These are garden art. These are glass flowers for your garden They're be to put on garden stakes. I, ta I find glass from all over, and I put it together. It's hand-drilled and put on uh, screwed and glued with a three-sided bottle on the back, which a garden stake goes through. So it is, as someone just said, it's a flower that you can't kill. It will last forever in your garden. They're beautiful when the sun hits them. I enjoy making these. I get such pleasure out of putting them together and coming up with a final product and coming up with flowers that just they, they just tickle me when, I, when they're done. Being an artist myself, um, I think the hardest thing for an artist is to find an, a style or an item that is so unique, and these are very unique. They're exquisitely beautiful. If you will, please give us your contact information so listeners can reach you. All right. My name is Robin Foch, and I can be reached on my website, which is sweetpeaglasscreations.com. And you can fill out contact information if you'd like to reach me. It will have my email address and my phone number. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much. We're talking now to Paula Dillon, who has a line of jewelry. Hello, Paula. Hello, I make crystal jewelry out of Swarovski crystal. And I do necklaces, ankle bracelets, earrings, bracelets, pendants. I wrap jewelry, do gold wrapping, silver wrapping. It's very exquisite. And I'll tell you, it would make a wonderful gift for any occasion. How could our listeners get in touch with you? 
Uh, you can do my email, pauladillon at verizon.net. And do you have a website? No, I don't. Next year, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Thank you. We're talking now to Margaret Hill. This is my daughter's. She has been making them up, and it's only her second time being in a craft show. She was here yesterday, and I'm here today. And what she's got are floral arrangements that appear to be natural, yes. Some of them have air plants. Some of them have, you know, candles have been added. Lights have been added. I mean, they're just exquisite her company name? She does it at home and comes to the craft shows. Yes. She's just starting out, but oh my gosh, it is beautiful. But we do need to be an email address in case anybody would like to get a hold of her and talk about ordering some. Well, she works all the time, so I think the best bet is you can contact me. It's magpie636569 at gmail.com. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh -huh. We're talking now to Carol Marcus Epperly, and she's an artist, a watercolorist, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her art. Well, I got started painting when I retired from teaching, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I started in a class, and um, from that, I started doing a lot of painting at home. I started doing shows. Um, I started doing some commission work for people. And I've continued to really love painting. And I've gotten very busy with it. Um, so when other things get in the way, I feel like I have to slow them down so I can have time to paint. It's a very therapeutic thing that I love very much. Uh, and give us some contact information so people can reach you. You can reach me through my email, which is cmarcus41 at verizon.net. I'm also on Fine Art America under Painters, and I have like a website on that site. So that's another place you can see my work. F I N E A R T. And then America, A-M-E-R-I-C-A. -E Fine Art America is a general website. Then once you go to that site, you will see they'll list uh, painters, sculptors, you know, all sorts of things. And when you see painters, then you put in my name and you can get it that way. Thank you, Carol. Okay, now we're speaking to Howard Ribble, and he has uh, a very interesting product. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Well, I can blame my wife for one thing. Uh, about 12 years ago, she bought back a primitive clock made from part of a computer. I didn't like it, so consequently I started my own. And what it is, it's uh, recycled computer parts, mainly motherboards, circuit boards, and uh, I try not to make any two alike. In fact, I photograph them, and if I do make one that's too close, I realize that I have screwed up. As far as making contact is concerned, there's no two alike. They are a battery power. The battery usually lasts a year. Uh, the clock will last probably until we bury ourselves. The email address, all lowercase, Howard underscore 1937 at verizon.net. I don't use a website because they want a picture. And since oh, I don't have two yeah. alike. Uh, right. Do contact him if you're interested, and I'll let him. Do you have other contact information you might like to share? Not at this time. Okay. Just the email. Just the email. Then we can follow up. Okay. Email him, and then you can talk about it. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. We have some wonderful handcrafted soaps. I'm going to let her tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Melissa Erlenbach Searle, and I own Salty Sister USA. I make handcrafted artisan soaps, scrubs, lotions, body butters. I started working with soaps about 35 years ago, and today I have 42 different fragrances to choose from among. My products are all natural. They're made with organic and non-GMO ingredients. There are no sulfates, there's no animal testing, no parabens, no phthalates, and they're all handcrafted in Venice here in the USA. Thank you. 
would you give us some contact information so uh, listeners can get in touch with you? Certainly. You can reach me, email info.saltysister at gmail.com, or you can contact my website, saltysister-usa.com. Thank you so much. Now we're speaking to Ernie Berger. He uh, does illustrations, among other things. I'll let him tell you. Yes, I'm a cartoon animator. I make TV commercials, and I also do digital art of various forms, including abstracts, as well as ones that I hope look like uh, realistic photographs, but they're actually just digital art totally created in the computer. And I've been doing this for quite a few years, and I've been fortunate enough to uh, receive some nice awards for my work. Those can all be seen on his website. Yes, I which do have is, a website. and my website is www.ernieberger.com. That's Ernie E R N I E Burger B E R G E R. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you. Now we're talking to Ann Robinson Berger, and she's going to tell us about her books. Hi, I'm a photographer, and we've moved from Maryland to Sarasota. I do photography, training films, holistic health for foot reflexology, coaching women in childbirth, and mostly the latest project has been my butterfly books. I have a slide presentation, coloring books, and the back page is cardstock, and children can cut it out and make it into a mobile. I understand you don't have a website. We will... We our team. Yeah, we'll let our listeners email you if they're interested in your product and it's retired teenagers at hotmail.com thank you very much ann thank you my name is karen Domboski and our company's name is lucy and ethels very nice and tell us a little bit about your product we do quite an array uh we our biggest seller is bottle lamps we take liquor bottles and make lamps out of them they are perfect for any room in the house including the guest bathrooms we do trivets coasters hand paint tees and aprons very nice and if our audience wants to contact you how would they go about that you can either contact us by email at bdemboski at comcast.net or at 941-822-0952. I think to be on the safe side, you should spell your email address. Absolutely. It's B as in boy, Demboski, which is D as in David, E, M as in Mary, B as in boy, O, S as in Sam, K-I, at comcast.net. Very good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. We're going to be talking about Fly Away Bear. Fly Away Bear is my first book. It's a read and learn book for preschoolers from age three to five. And I wrote it to help parents or anyone that reads to a child to keep them interested and to teach. And it's very easy to use. Yes. And this is Carol Stack that we're talking to. And Carol, you would you like to give us some contact information? So if our listeners want more information, they know where to go. Sure. They can find the book. It's available on, on Amazon.com. And you can contact me at stackwill2 at AOL. And I know if you ask Carol to, she'll be happy to autograph it for you. I certainly will. And we have free color sheets and free activity pages online that change monthly. Oh, how nice. That's an advantage for schools, too, because teachers get so busy. It's nice if they can just download something like that. Thank you, Carol. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Peter Murfitt, and I am with Trees by... I build trees by the sea. And tell us a little bit about your product. Uh, The large trees that I do have 100 lights, and the small ones have 50. And all of the sea life in my trees and in my wreaths is self-foraged. I have gathered everything you see on the trees and in the wreaths myself off the local, local beaches here in Venice. And even the grass inside the trees is right off the beach. I know they can, uh, they can't really get the whole feeling Um, until they see it live, but give us some contact information where they can reach you or find out more about this. I have a website, Trees by the Sea. If you go online, you can find me there, and you can see pictures of some of the things that I do. 
all of my trees are one of a kind and they're signed and numbered on the bottom. So the things that you see on the website give you an idea of what I do. But to come and see them personally, uh, you can come to our house. I operate out of the house and I do craft shows all over the state of Florida. And those dates and times are all on the website. Okay, very good. Uh, give us your web address. It's Trees by the Sea. That's it. Do you go to Trees by the www. Sea? www.treesbythesea.com. Www. 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 Okay, That's thank it. you very much. You're welcome. We're talking to Diane Adams Taylor. She is the authoress of two books. You want to tell us about your books? Yes, I'm the author of Circles in Time, and it was released in May of 2012. It's about a woman who is trapped in an abusive relationship. It's available on my website to read three chapters for free at www.dianeadamstaylor.com. My second book, The Healer of Wounded Souls, was just released the end of October of 2013. And it's about a nurse who chooses to heal wounded warriors and she gets in trouble with the government and terrorist group. So it's a very interesting read. And if you're interested, you can order it online at my website or anything else you need. I can gift wrap. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. We're speaking today to Carolyn Yoder. I'm just going to get your conversation with your customer, then your contact information. I have all natural products plus handmade products that I've put together myself with designs and then sell them. Nothing here is from anywhere else or made by anyone else. And Carolyn's contact information is L-E-T-T-H-E-M-K-N-O-W at msn.com. Thank you, Carolyn. You're welcome. We're talking to Les and Kimball Berry, B-E-E-R-Y, and I'm going to let them tell you about their exciting products. Les? Yes, we uh, write and publish the Angler's Guide to Southwest Florida. It covers an area from Longboat Key to Boca Grande, and it lists 30 favorite shore fishing spots that we've been going to for over 40 years. There's directions how to get to these spots, and then instructions and tips from your guide as to what to do when you arrive in terms of making a very successful fishing trip out of each of these visits. And I see today too you have leather goods. Um, this is a new product, isn't it? Well at least it is for me. Well it's new to us down here. We've been doing we've been doing leather goods now for over 40 years. We had three retail stores in Colorado at one time and supported that with our manufacturing and other uh, mail order and wholesale jobs, but uh, we make these leather goods out of the very finest domestically tanned leathers and hand and uh, individually emboss them with either my wife's Kimball's artwork or actual leaves that we collect in the area. Thank you. And would you give us some contact information if uh, if our listeners would be interested in seeing these? Chances are you have them on your website. Yes, we do. The website for the leather goods is estesleather.com because it's from Estes Park, Colorado. The address, that's E-S-T-E-S-P-A-R-K, Colorado. But the the website is just estesleather.com. And the book website is anglerpocketguides.com. Thank you, Les. Thank you, Kimball. My name is Gary Walter. I'm the illustrator of Port of Florida's Past. It's a book about archaeology, and it's being told through the eyes of animals that actually go back in time to make it uh, easy to uh, have children understand it and for them to comprehend. And at the back of the book, we have activities. And if they get the activities completed, they will achieve a junior archaeology certificate. Oh, very nice. So it is a children's book. Yes, ma'am. Yes. It sure is. Have and, you uh, illustrated other books? Um, it is my first. I have... Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I was chosen to do uh, some artwork for the movie Dolphin Tail. It appeared um, on the bulletin board, and I can't remember the guy's name. He was the director of uh, the Clearwater Marine Aquarium in the movie, and it appears on his bulletin board. Do you have any projects coming up? Uh, I have a few in the works, which are still quite secret, so okay. we get it out of the way. We will interview Gary later on when he will dish us all the dirt on his new projects. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to be talking to Al Adam, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his products. Well, we have a wine bottles where we electrify them, but we have beer bottles that are electrified. We also have beautiful hand-knitted sweaters, and we have hand-painted wine glasses. 
How wonderful. A gift for any occasion. Any occasion. We have gifts for everybody. Wonderful. Uh, can you give us some contact information? Maybe a website? Uh, we do not have a website, but we can be reached at our uh, email address. And that is? That is Ellie and Al at Verizon.net. Is that E L L I E? And A L L I E at and Verizon.net. Very good. Thank you, Al. Thank you very much. And now we're speaking to Amy Elder, and she's going to tell us about her books. Hi, I'm Amy Elder, and I write history books. I love Sarasota County, and I love to write about the history of Sarasota County. Two of my books, Images of America, through that series, are Images of America, Sarasota, and Images of America, Sarasota, 1940 to 2005. They cover Sarasota from 1860 to 2005. And then my new children's book um, is about the prehistoric um, people who lived in the state of Florida, and all about digging in the dirt. It's called Portal to Florida's Past. And tell us now where the books are available. They're available at Barnes & Noble, Amazon.com, at um, Amy A. Elder, www.amyaelder.com. Thank you, Amy. Okay, we're talking to Joanne. What's your, give us your last name, too. McPatlin. Joanne McPatlin. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about your product. All right, it's called Dichroic Glass. It's glass that's made by the NASA Space Center for the astronaut's mask. Uh, it will no, it withstands tremendous amounts of heat, it won't melt till after 1500 degrees. We put other fusible glass behind it and then we'll transmit different colors. So it makes it all one of a kind. And Wonderful selection for um, upcoming events and for gifts. Yes. Um, I really, at this moment, I don't have any upcoming events, but you can reach me on my email. Well, I was thinking things like Valentine's Day, oh, that type gift of giving yes. events, yes. Yeah, gift giving events, anytime, you know. Um, okay, and your contact information where the, our listeners might be able to get hold of you? Um, on my email, which is joanne.mcpotlin at verizon.net. And spell the last name for us. Okay, M C. P A R T L I N. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, now we have D.L. Havlin and we are recording. Uh, I'll let him tell you about his books. Hi, Nancy. Uh, my books are all fiction. Uh, I do uh, historical, I do uh, literary mainstream, and thriller suspense. Uh, you can find me on the internet at www dot d l h a v l i n dot com that's my website and my books are available through barnes and nobles and other stores and on net through nook and kindle through, through nook and cranny huh that's it <laughs> thank you dl thank you nance we're going to meet linda carmichael she has beautifully arranged tables of Christmas items. Tell us a little bit about your products, Linda. Well, they're all handmade. I love to do floral arrangements, and not just Christmas. I do other, other floral arrangements. It's just a creation for me. I love to do it. It's very relaxing. So you do other seasonal items. By any chance, do you do weddings? Uh, no, I've never done a wedding, but... There's always, <laughs> there's always a place for yeah. it. Uh, get a hold of her, and uh, the two of you can talk. So, how would uh, our listeners reach you? You have an email address. I have an email address is is Carmichael forty two at Comcast dot net. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. We're speaking today to Marie Fraser. and tell us a little bit about your product. Uh, I love to make my crafts, and it's, uh, uh, I sell wreaths and uh, arrangements, little clay pot dolls, um, uh, my goodness, uh, ceramics, uh, just about everything. So what non-Christmas things do you have? Oh, I have the same thing, wreaths and uh, uh, arrangements would be uh, spring and fall, and uh, other 
spring things. So she has um, accessories for every season. Right. Very nice. And how can you be reached? By telephone or uh, by, at my home is where I do my craft work. It's 941-497-1116. Thank you.